Hi everyone, welcome back to our talks with tech experts for CIS 101. This is Fem Oksinovic and today I am talking to Andrea Kotoranu. She was an international student at Pace. She came from Romania. She was a student athlete. She is the leader of the New York City Design Factory and a professor at Pace right now. So without me talking about it any further, I'll just let her do it. Andrea, welcome. Hi Sven, thank you so much for inviting me to your uh, to your uh, video blog vlog. <laughs> I, uh, as you indicated, I, I it's been a long time since I joined Pace as an international student. Um, it's been many years. Um, today I teach uh, in the information technology department. I teach courses um, on topics like design thinking and innovation product development, user experience, research methods. Um, the, the courses I teach basically draw from numerous disciplines. So it's technology plus something else. Um, it, it ranges from software engineering to information systems to data analytics and, and design. So they are not just technology. And that's, that's the fun part. Um, as, as part of my, my teaching and, and mentoring activities, because I do a lot of mentoring uh, with, with PACE students and Seidelberg students in particular, um, my work is really geared towards um, creating projects based on um, project-based learning experiences that connect students with technology and its applications, as well as connect students with opportunities in the field. For example, competitions, um, hackathons, conferences. I'll tell you a little bit about my research as well, because I think it kind of showcases that um, technology is uh, in working with technology involves working with other disciplines as well. So as, as part of my research interests, I um, aimed, my research aims to inform the design of um, systems that balance security and usability. And in order to achieve this goal, um, I analyze end user knowledge of cybersecurity using text analytics, right? So that's what I do. But in doing this research, I really need to bring in knowledge from um, not only computing disciplines, specifically natural language processing, which is about coding, which I'm sure uh, the students in CIS 101 will, will do, um, but also analytics, uh, design principles, um, but also brings um, knowledge and expertise from other disciplines, linguistics, cognitive psychology, human behavior. So all those um, disciplines together help me carry out my, my research studies and, and questions. Alrighty, thank you. Uh, that's a very nice intro. And I, I do want to try to connect your current path to what even brought you to it. So how did you even um, choose Pace coming from a completely different country, from a different continent? And how, how did you even choose Seidenberg or computer science as your path? Great, great question. Um, so how did I choose space? Uh, it was primarily based on, on location and I was, I was interested in being in a place where I could do two things I loved at the time, which was uh, pursuing my, my college education and, and playing sports, playing volleyball. So this was the perfect place to do so. Um, but looking back at the number of years I've, I've been here and why I stayed, it's really a, a testament to what an amazing place this university is, not only by, you know, its location, um, but having all those um, schools within the university that, that um, cover different disciplines to um, the students. I, I love Pace students. They are so talented, creative. Um, they are just wonderful. And then the faculty and staff are so passionate about um, their students and creating meaningful experiences for them that it's really a pleasure to, to be here and, and continue this, this mission of educating the next generation. So um, that's a little bit about the 
link with uh, with this uh, with with peace. But as far as how I ended up in in technology in tech, um, it wasn't straightforward. <laughs> I, I always had a, a lot of curiosity about how and why things work and an interest in, in tinkering. Um, however, pursuing a, a degree in tech or a career for that matter was certainly not on my radar um, coming out of high school, um, let's say, right? So my early interests um, were in, in language, in literature, in philosophy. Uh, so very much uh, liberal arts oriented, but I developed an appreciation for math and science as well as um, um, an interest in technology systems and, and their application um, while at PACE. And uh, eventually I went to graduate school in information technology and uh, pursued a PhD in computer science, which since has become my, my greatest professional interest. But, um, you know, showing, looking at the work I do today, um, my research work in computational text analytics um, allows me to connect my early interest in language with my later, later interest in computing. So I think that's, that's a nice way in which students can, can view that um, they can bring technology and, and link it to other things and um, they, they like with other interests they have. So it's not all about technology, but rather applying technology to solve problems in other domains. And that brings us to design thinking and your leadership of the, of the design factory, right? So could you just tell us in like a sentence or two what design thinking is? and what you do with Design Factory? Yes, so um, I will tell you uh, that uh, the New York City Design Factory first is a hub for collaboration among students, faculty, and industry partners, where we aim to design solutions for challenges posed by industry clients. And while we are housed within the Seidenberg School, uh, we bring together undergraduate and graduate students and faculty from disciplines across the university, as well as from academic partners around the, the world to, to work together on real world problems. Um, so when I say around the world, um, I'm referring to um, a whole network of, of um, innovation centers in universities, across five continents. Um, this network is, uh, is called Design Factory Global Network. And through this network, uh, which includes 30, 30 um, design factories, uh, we, we do promote this project-based learning and innovation um, in an interdisciplinary, international, collaborative um, working environment. So that's, that's our goal. And some of our flagship programming in the design factory includes collaborations with university as well as industry clients in Finland, Australia, um, Switzerland, Chile, Estonia, just to, just to name a few to, to show you the, the, the gamut. And um, as part of those, so, so those real, real world projects um, are introduced by clients and our clients come from diverse industries. So, so participating in the, in the design factory project-based learning courses and activities, which, which we offer um, here, not only for Seidenberg students, but for PACE students, um, helps students use experimentation and interdisciplinary and international collaboration to apply design thinking and other tools to technology solutions um, for societal, industry-based and real world problems. And now to kind of go back to your, your question about, about design thinking and and why that is important. Um, I'll just start by saying a little bit, if, if okay with you, by giving a little bit of a segue into um, why technology is important. <laughs> um, because it is my hope that um, 
students will, will see the opportunities that technology brings, uh, regardless of, of their major course of study. And I, I, I always say that technology is a very powerful tool uh, for, for understanding the world. And one's potential to, to produce positive change, right? So those tech skills that you, you develop by studying technology are important and they give one a competitive advantage, right? So if you think about areas like artificial intelligence or machine learning, um, those, are, those areas are shifting the way businesses and, and the world kind of operates today. And understanding technology enables one to stay competitive in today's society, pretty much. So skills like coding, um, which again, CIS 101 students will, will be learning about, um, not only um, develop not only technological understanding, but um, they, they develop other skills, right? So you think about creativity. So in, in learning technology, you also develop creativity, problem solving, collaboration, communication. So those are all very important skills. And in this world, um, we live in today a world filled with data, um, a world of accessible, accessible information. Um, the important thing is not knowing the right answer, right? That, that's not important anymore. Uh, what's important is knowing the right question to ask. So how, how do we get there? How do we learn to ask the right questions? How do we move about solving complex problems by um, breaking them down into, into manageable pieces, basically? And one way to do that is through this process of design thinking, uh, which basically uh, takes the tools of a, of a designer and applies them to solving problems in, in, a, in a way in which, um, you know, it, it, it develops this mindset of encouraging us to break down the, the problem into manageable pieces and, um, and produce learning by doing. Um, so uh, it's, it's a very powerful tool that's, um, that has shown to have um, a great uh, impact on producing innovative solutions, right? So we, we want our students to learn how to be creative, how to come up with innovative solutions to problems that are complex and, um, you know, become more and more complex as, we, <laughs> as, well, as time progresses. So that, that's pretty much in a nutshell what design thinking is and how we, why we use it and why we think it's important that um, Seidenberg students and all students at PACE um, would benefit from, from having this, uh, this knowledge. Well, yeah, I, I know that my design factory experience was only positive and I don't think we'll have much time now to get into that, but it was a wonderful experience and that way of thinking really did change the way that I approach my work, which has, might have nothing to do with computer science, but it's so applicable to everything you do that it's, it's a great tool, as you said. Um, but yeah, before I let you go, do you have maybe like one more piece of advice that students could use design thinking to apply it to their CS class right now in order to be successful in it? Um, sure. Uh, one, one approach would be to, um, to have fun and develop some playfulness with problem solving, um, you know, enjoy enjoy the learning journey, be yourself, that will allow you to be, to be more creative and do not be attached to the perfect answer or doing things, you know, having, having something perfect, but rather explore. Um, don't be scared, delve into things um, and, and have fun, have fun with, with whatever learning comes, comes your way. Be open, right? You haven't heard about coding before, you've never done it before, no problem nothing can go wrong 
<laughs> so uh, experience it with an open mind um, think about the possibilities that um, technology brings and how that can advance your your goals uh, academically um, you know in your, in your career and uh, that's that's enough you'll get plenty of advice so i want to keep it short <laughs> Thank you so much, Andrea, for your time. Sure, my pleasure. Yep. And good luck to everyone. Have a, have a wonderful semester. Yep, good luck, students. We'll be back with some more tech experts soon. Take care.